these nice pictures of John here. <laughs> John and John Jr. <laughs> we draw on John Cena. I already drew him like six times. I know, I know. Where were you, Steven? I was right here watching the professional wrestling, which happens to be the topic of today's Drawing the Line. Hey, look at Ooh. this guy. He introed the show. Wow. I led an intro for the first time in years. Let's go. Introduce yourself. Hi, <laughs> <All right>, I'm, <laughs> right, I'm Blue Breed. Uh, with me today is my co host, George G. Pool. And our lovely guest, introduce yourself. Hello, everybody. My name is Markiplier. No, I'm Yoro Yoyo. -Yo. Hey, <laughs> I'm Markiplier. supreme leader of Yoyo -Yo Mania, and I'm very swagalicious. I'm, I'm very cheesed to meet you all. I'm very. Yours. That do you really want to lead in with a Markiplier joke? Is that <laughs> how you want to lead in? <laughs> okay. Question: I What mean... was the bite of eighty-seven? <laughs> Yes, uh, go, explain. explain. It was 9 plus 10. Uh, yeah, but you didn't see that coming, Matt Pat. <laughs> I mean, it's just... God, I wish <laughs> Matt Pat would do meme theories. <laughs> oh my god, I, I, I'd be so mad. <laughs> I would be so nothing. You'd have the most surface level <laughs> understanding of them. Mm-hmm. You'd be like, where'd Pepe the Frog come from? Oh no, please don't. <laughs> the bite of Pepe the Frog. <laughs> it's, is Snotty Boy actually Titan? Titan? Yeah, there is a meme. Who's Titan? Oh, from uh, Mega Mine, the dude with the red hair. Oh! Yeah, Titan. Oh! Yeah, there was a whole. Yeah, that fuck. guy. There was a whole meme of Snotty Boy glowing up to be Titan as an adult. Oh, that, yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah I know what you're talking yeah. about. That, that's unfortunate because Megamind's a pretty good movie. Oh, absolutely. But I hate Snotty Boy from Barnyard, the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I haven't seen that movie in, like, like years. Barnyard? Yeah, I haven't. I, I remember watching it when it was, like, you know, when it first came out. Right. But I've never, yeah. I've never seen... Um, I've never seen it like since then, which is really f like freaky to think about because I have it on DVD. It it feels it's already weird that it's like a Nickelodeon original yeah. movie. Yeah, honestly. But it then, <laughs> but then they had like the whole show. And yeah. Oh my god. The show like existed for a while, mm -hmm. but if you look back on it, it's very like hard to watch and embarrassing. Uh, I don't really. Know. Kinda, yeah. I don't really <laughs> enjoy it very much. <laughs> but maybe I, maybe I'm the one in the wrong. I have Who never. I, I remember. I remember that the guy who played Carl Weezer was, uh, played the chicken. I think. <laughs> and I think the Whoa. guy who played Sheen played the weird like otter weasel guy. Oh, yeah, the There's like a like a. F Ferret guy? Yeah, the weasel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I don't fucking know. Yeah, I, Barnyard is a movie that I remember very little about other than Ben the Cow singing Won't Back Down. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I remember. And then he dies because he didn't back down. <laughs> Someone keep talking, I'm drawing Otis the Cow. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, let's see here. So, what's everyone's experience with professional wrestling? Yeah, you were, you were saying earlier you used to watch it as a tot. Yeah, when I was younger, like my- I used to live with like... Fucking like seven other people in like one house, like who were all my relatives. Uh, mm -hmm. because, uh, homies be not having homes, I guess, that's how it be. Um, it was during the housing crisis, so like that's just how it be. Um, but, so we would watch like, wrestling like religiously like we would like gather around in like my grandma's room yeah and we would just like watch we just watched this shit bro and it was lit and um my grandma was such a hardcore fan of it and she thought it was like real and she would like get into fights with my mom yeah. over if it was real or not <laughs> she's like you stupid cunt it's real my grandma my grandma cursed like a sailor she was like just super chad yeah. uh, and she'd be like you sh you stupid motherfucker it is she's real. where you learned it yeah bro <laughs> 
she'd be like, yeah, you, you stupid cunt, it is real. Stop fucking with me. Like, and I'm like, <laughs> that's my grandma, bro. She's, she's fucking Chad. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like, I remember we were, I was, I was so afraid of The Undertaker. When he did that freaky thing with his eyes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You were He'd like he would like he was, the demographic. Yeah, he would like roll his eyes back and I'd be like terrified. I'd be like, Don't this man is mm-hmm. horrifying. <laughs> um yeah. If if you want some really like heartwarming content, just look up any of like the Undertaker like his reviews or his interviews and stuff. Because now that he's like finally retired officially, oh, yeah. he's like finally like breaking down the mythos and stuff. And he is just a wholesome dude. Like even that the hot ones he did on the first we feast oh. was just like really nice and really wholesome. Oh, yeah? And it was just really enjoyable to see him like that. Yeah. That's lit, bro. I need to see that. <laughs> yeah, like, he lived his life from being the icon he wanted to be, and now he's get, now he's chilling. Now he's chilling, bro. Hell yeah. <laughs> I fuck with that. I need to check that out, because... <laughs> chilling? Yeah, he... B- bing chilling? Bing, chi- bing chilling? <laughs> bro, my, my, my grandma loved John Cena, too. She was, like, mm. obsessed with that motherfucker. Mm-hmm. She was just vibing. Like, he was the guy like he he was like the one that really kept wrestling going in that whole yeah era honestly because i i actually didn't know because um one of the wrestlers i used to watch a lot as a kid as well was christian and edge and i didn't know that they were apparently fucking vampires like yeah they were they, they were, were, they were, they were, they were, they were rude. yeah they were related to fucking gang girl like get the wrestler gang, and and that's fucking hilarious because like i like you know like my brother my brother loved christian mm-hmm. um and mm-hmm. like we, we both like thought they were super cool yeah. and then like to hear that to hear that like because they were like one of our favorite wrestlers and then they hear that like oh he they were actually involved with like gangrel who is like from v like you know from from white wolf and vtm yeah. and i'm like that's like my that's like one of my favorite like franchises ever now i'm like oh it just all comes together yeah. awesome mm-hmm. like it's pretty cool they're pretty funny, are they? Mm. <laughs> There's so much stupid lore in wrestling. That's what makes it fun, I though. Love, There's Otis the Cow, by the way. Oh, that's... that's <laughs> <laughs> oh, God! No, have you... Have, have you seen that, um... That, that screenshot of like the barnyard game and it just goes how far can you squirt have you seen that it's like a real oh god it's that like sounds a, familiar that does. yeah it's like a real mini game mm-hmm. that's like from it where you have to like mm-hmm. okay first yeah. of all that whole game is like fucked yeah and like otis has to like squirt milk as far as he can and i'm like oh, god. pop off otis go off the go whole ahead. hypocrisy of otis being a male cow is already yeah is already I mean, something I mean, let him vibe. Let, let 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 him let him let him have udders. Let him vibe. <laughs> we we support a Chad a Chad Utter King. Okay, <laughs> like we love that. He was Nickelodeon's first trans icon. Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, then, and last, they true. never did it again. They 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 didn't. They really they really didn't. Um, remember when they made because Sp- oh, SpongeBob was like asexual, but everyone thought he was gay because they put him with the pride flag. I don't remember. Yeah, yeah. Because they yeah. had they like put him with the like, pride flag. Yeah, they were showcasing like LGBT characters for like Pride oh, Month or something. Oh yeah, Which, yeah. Which, like, honestly, it was it just screamed like I'm a corporation trying to appeal to like mm-hmm. audience, like a wider audience kind of thing. So like I wasn't feeling it, but like, yeah. I mean, it makes sense. People people thought he was gay, but mm-hmm. apparently he's like ace or something. Yeah, he's asexual. Like yeah, pop I don't... off. I don't think that ever mattered into the Spongebob comedy, but I'm happy for him. Good for him. I mean, it makes sense, because sponges, sponges are actually, like, asexual. They produce asexually, mm-hmm. so, like, funny ha- funny nod to, like, actual, like, marine biology pop off. Yeah, that's the thing. Um, Can't believe Mr. Krabs fucked that whale, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, he did, didn't he? He, he <laughs> went for it, man. Mm-hmm. He went for it, bro. Let him vibe. <laughs> Shout out to fucking uh, Clancy Brown is the guy who played him. Um, played uh mm-hmm. mr crab oh, that yeah. guy he's also a, played he's a great voice actor he played hank from fucking um yeah, troy become human he played uh baron praxis from fucking jack 2 which is like one of my favorite games of like one yeah it's like my favorite childhood game jack mm-hmm. 2 super fucking edgy <laughs> uh, that's the one i like totally missed out on uh the jack series Bro, it's so good like i i started replaying it recently because mm. haha emulators am i right guys you know <laughs> right. um and 
I was like, God, this game is so good. Like, I I didn't get to appreciate how good it was when I was a kid because, like, you're a kid. All you go is, haha, funny, mm -hmm. cool, you know? Mm -hmm. You don't really get to, like, really appreciate, like, how funny, or how, how clever or cheesy the writing is. The writing is very cheesy, but also, like, somehow still funny. Yeah. It's like, go on. I can appreciate stuff like go that. On. Yeah. I like a lot of stupid shit like Power Rangers or Digimon or anything that yes. Saban Productions touch, no matter how terrible it is. Mm -hmm. Fucking, oh my god. Power Rangers were like, was also a big part of my childhood. I loved, <laughs> um, I think it was Wild Force, the one mm -hmm. with they were red, green, or red, yellow, blue, and they were all. The, the main the main evil guy's name was Daishi. That's all I remember. Mm -hmm. And he was like a lion or something. But he was actually a woman, question mark? I don't remember. He looked like Anakin Skywalker. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> and that was like such a big part of my childhood as well. Like I loved just... Um, I just loved it. They had like that weird stoner pizza dude who was like a wolf. Which was... Okay, like... Why though? <laughs> why was he the wolf? He wasn't even edgy. He was just like... <laughs> like a stoned. Like 90% of the show. Yeah. Like literally. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That, I know which one you're talking about. Cause there's, there's so many different like animal themed Power Rangers. Yes. It gets really hard to keep track sometimes. Samurai was also. Oh, Mystic Force and Samurai was like my my shit. I think those are my my favorite to this day. Mm -hmm. Samurai was just Samurai was like for the weeb in me, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, Definitely. like. I rewatched some of it fairly recently, and I liked a lot of Mighty Morphin, like yeah. especially the part when they brought in Lord Zed and started yeah. to do their own stuff with it. But then the parents complained about how scary he is, so they had to tone it down, and <laughs> the show coincidentally became not as fun after that. Yeah, parents but be that... always complaining. Parents be shitting in our cereal, bro. They Come do. on. <laughs> Okay, I could talk about tokusatsu all day, but I've just been sh shading this Otis the Cow, and we <laughs> really need to get started <laughs> before this gets any worse. Okay. Let him okay. Let him vibe. All right, so we're drawing wrestlers today, not Ooh. real wrestlers. We're making them up. We're having fun. Mm. Uh, I think for our first one, we should all draw like a like a face character, aka a good guy, Ooh, okay. and then. Right. then and then we'll finish up with like the heel turn, the bad guy character. Mm. Oh so yeah. We'll each, we'll each draw one of those, and uh, it'll be cool. They'll yeah, wrestle. bro. Mm. Yeah, bro. So now this is the part of the show where we do our thing, our trademark thing, where we make each other do stuff. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. So, uh, Steven. Yep. What? Uh, what? What do you want to see out of my wrestler? Let's see here. Out of your wrestler, I want him or her to be. Or them or Schler. Yeah, which one? <laughs> I want their gimmick. Why is there? A... Why is there a Barnyard Heroes wiki? What the, what the hell? Yeah, bro. Let oh him, no, he's let on the Heroes wiki, but he's okay. Sorry. I want. <laughs> I want your pro wrestler to be obsessed with the Barnyard. The okay. Barnyard franchise. Oh, that's horrible. Okay. I'll just <laughs> I'll just recycle this picture and put it on a T-shirt. That's crazy. <laughs> okay. And uh, Yoro, give me something else. Give me something to add on to that. Something it to can add be on. completely disjointed, or it can be uh, okay, so it can so be its own thing. So far, we have that he is he, he's obsessed with Barnyard. The movie. Um, the movie. The movie. The movie specifically. <laughs> I also. Oh, uh, why didn't you tell me you put Snotty Boy in the <laughs> I chat? Was for it. <laughs> uh, it was like a time bomb. Yeah. <laughs> um, I also want your character to be obsessed with the works of Butch Hartman. I want him <laughs> to be like. <laughs> so he's just a Nickelodeon fanboy. Yeah, he's a Nickelodeon fanboy. <laughs> okay. God. I can work with that. He always oh, also family friendly. Like he's just like I'm a family friendly wrestler. Like. Of course. Yeah, bro. Okay, uh, Steven. Yeah. <laughs> with co with utter contempt in his voice. <laughs> I want your character to have at least six different colors on their clothing. Oh god. Ooh. 
Okay, I have one. I want. Okay, hit him. I, okay I <laughs> want him to serve like Zoolander realness. Like this dude is just like a super, <laughs> super male supermodel of the world. Uh, oh hell yeah! Yeah. Zoolander what? That rocks. Zoolander realness. So oh. he's he's just like. He's, I'm look at him and I just get like, okay, that's supermodel, male supermodel of the world. Oh, okay. Yeah, He's... we've all seen Zoolander. <laughs> yeah. All of us. <laughs> <laughs> Yoro Yo Yo of yeah. Yo Mania fame. TM. TM registered. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rights reserved. I want your wrestler. I want your wrestler to just uh be be really into really into like chips and junk food and shit oh oh here we go and they don't have to be fat if you don't want them to yeah. be but they they gotta be into that shit they gotta be really in, down with the chipness okay <laughs> she's just like just like uh select tool their tank top and drag in the bag of doritos for the texture <laughs> oh i got it i got it <laughs> and steven here. I want your wrestler to somehow be show f some form of relation uh, visibly to Giant Gonzalez. I'll put a picture of him in the chat. <laughs> what? What the? F <laughs> <laughs> who is that's Giant? Who is Giant Gonzalez? That's giant Gonzalez. He was a real. He was a failed giant character from the eighties. <laughs> Oh, was man. he in the WWF? Yeah, he was meant to be like the new big bad for Hulk Hogan, but then like he didn't know any English and they did not know how to book <laughs> him, so Hulk Hogan pinned him like two matches in and then he quit. Bruh. Aww. So so I need to show some relation to him. Yeah. In terms of what? In terms of what? Like design or like? Yeah, it can either be maybe... like genetic. It can be his in-ring gear. It can be whatever. Just something that calls back to Giant Gonzalez. <laughs> okay. All right. I got this. This is Giant Gonzalez. If he was obsessed with chips. <laughs> that's, Hell yeah. That's his thing. I'm gonna make him a, a success, bro. He's gonna be a success. <laughs> You're gonna save Giant Gonzalez. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save his career, bro. Finally. I've been waiting for Giant Gonzalez to come back to the Royal Rumble for so long. This, this is Finally. His job, bro. Giant Gonzalez. <laughs> Alright, so we've all got our. Uh, We've all got our prompts, mm. so we can go ahead and do it up big. Here. Let's go. I gotta get. Let's see. I got to uh, ask for clarification on the Zoolander realness thing. Just like mm -hmm. very supermodel esque. Yeah, super like male supermodel, but like super campy and over the top as well. Like I'm asking oh, for. Oh, okay. Which one I thought like Zoolander. Nah, I got you. Okay, okay. Let's see. Here. Uh, you remember no, you remember that movie, right, Steve? I when do. they play relax and he tries to snap the <laughs> prime minister's neck. Yeah, yeah. I was just trying. I was just trying to like wrap my head around it. So he makes. It's a really weird movie. Yeah. It really is. <laughs> Did anyone watch the second Zoolander? Uh, fuck. I remember. Wasn't Benedict Cumberbatch in there? And he looked like a literal alien, and I'm like, this is him. This is like his his moment. <laughs> I have no clue. I did not watch Zoolander 2. I watched like some of it and I remember I just remember seeing Bandit Cumberbatch in there and I was like, yeah, he looks about right. Because <laughs> he looked like an alien. Like they dressed him up in like some weird like avant-garde like fashion and like he dead ass just looked like a fish alien. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he already, okay, no, no offense to Bandit Cumberbatch. Right. Actually all offense. Um, he looks like I hope you're not watching. I hope you're watching. You stupid piece Benedict, of shit. Turn away. <laughs> you stupid <laughs> piece of shit. You literally you are literally built like a fish. I'm so like I'm sorry. Like <laughs> you are though. He is <laughs> built like a fish. I don't know. His face is just it just screams like fish to me. It screams like alien fish. Yeah. It screams the shape of water. The shape of water. That's what shape it is. Shape of water. That's just like but, the vibe, like. But get. he's Doctor Strange. You have to He was. To love he was him. also BBC Sherlock, and I'm. I. That's one reason I like resent him is because when I was like younger in middle school, I was really into BBC Sherlock. So, like, mm -hmm. it's like a spite thing. <laughs> it's like, 
you made me the cringy middle schooler I was. I'm gonna roast you <laughs> so bad. You did this to me. <laughs> That's literally it. I'm like, you piece of shit. You made me. You, you shaped me into what I am today. You're you built like a fish. You made me into a murderer. <laughs> made me into like a cringy... 2012 2014 like tumblr kid oh my god <laughs> cringe did you have a doctor who phase too no bitch i had the whole trinity i was a supernatural doctor who fan and a sherlock fan it was horrible <laughs> <laughs> i'm so sorry Damn. it was so sad <laughs> Why does oh. Giant Gonzalez kind of look girl? He kind of looks like he looks like he doesn't even look. I didn't even get Giant from him. I just got like Werewolf gone wrong. Yeah, like that's one of wrestling's biggest secrets is what the hell they were thinking when they made Giant Gonzalez and put him in that in a fucking Titan outfit. It's like trying to pass him off like he's real. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to make. I'm trying to have him serve like Sasquatch. That's upset. Like that went to like a, a campsite and found like Lay's potato chips and was like, oh, I like this. Like that's like the vibe I'm like mm. going for right now. Mm. Oh, I pre I like that. Same. I just I love I'm just, that. I'm like I'm just kind of winging it, but honestly, like so far what I got, I'm I'm already pretty happy with the uh, the that's aesthetic good. I'm going for. Hmm. And Steven? Uh, going good, going good, getting the face down. <laughs> that's good. I can't draw hands, let's pray. <laughs> oh, you, you got it, don't worry. Yeah, you got this shit. So, Yoro, uh, mm -hmm. you've, been, uh, you've been in the business for a while now. How long have you been doing streaming? And how long have you been like with uh, Spro specifically? Uh, I've been with Spro for about a year, like over a year about. Mm -hmm. um, I've been VTubing for apparently, like I, I checked my like clip thing because like, they have like, I looked at like my top clips. Mm -hmm. My top mm -hmm. clip was from like almost a year and a half ago it, it listed it two two years ago but that's not that's not it mm -hmm. um in july it'll have been two years so but yeah like a little under two years so that's cool yeah. mm -hmm. but i've yeah. learned a lot yeah you've really uh come into your own with your loud oh, yeah. water bottle <laughs> shut up <laughs> <laughs> i'll make this i make his hands furry Make this dudes, the studios that have more chips on them. Just don't turn them into Big B, okay? Okay, shut the fuck up. I was about to say, okay, like I'm like I'm worried because this dude kind of looks like a werewolf gone wrong. Am I gonna get comments on that? Get out of here. No, no. His no one's suit. gonna see this video. It's fine. <laughs> his suit is his suit is so ass. Oh my god, I'm looking at Giant Gonzalez. I'm like, what? What were they thinking? It's so bad. <laughs> Be nice it's like to so Giant bad. Gonzalez. He had no choice. In the okay, matter. I. He had no that, choice. But what were they thinking? And that that was supposed to be like a like an Andre the Giant level rival. Yeah, it was meant to really? be fucking Hulk Hogan's next big rival. Yeah, that's hilarious. Mm -hmm. That's so sad. What about the Gobbledygooker? The Gobbledygooker was supposed to be the Undertaker, <laughs> and that's really upsetting. <laughs> Do you know who the gobbledygooker is, Yoro? Um, I don't think so, but I think of the Babadook, if that's like the same guy. The like, uh, <laughs> hey, that's what that's More the vibe I'm getting. <laughs> More or less. It, well, he was a he was a giant chicken that hatched out of an egg. Mm. Huh? So yeah, pretty pretty much like the Babadook. Mm. I don't even know about the Babadook. I don't even know who I only know that apparently for some reason he's a gay icon. Which is like cool. It's, I don't know why. I've never seen the movie, so I legit don't know it's why. It's because on Tumblr, yeah. people coupled him with fucking Pennywise. Oh, good for them. Yeah, that's. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, goodness. I I don't know why. Me neither. But like. I guess they were just like they came. The movies came out around the same time. Ah, so. uh, it's like the um. Was it like when Animal Crossing and Doom came out the same day? 
Mm. Oh yeah, and there was so much like Isabelle and Doomslayer art. Yeah, even even though it's, even though it's platonic, shout out to platonic. Mm -hmm. Um, still a moment. Um, <laughs> that we'll always remember. It will always, it's like history, bro. This dude is kind of serving it. This dude kind of. This dude's name is gonna be Chip Gonzalez. <laughs> Chips or Chip laid, I don't Gonzalez. know. His catchphrase is you're about to get laid. <laughs> get it? Oh. Get it? Yeah. Oh. I'm, just, I'm so smart. I'm so smart, guys. I'm like the smartest person ever. <laughs> 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 I need the Lay's logo because he, he wait, what he he's just like an industry plan. He's just like a giant like sponsorship for like chips. <laughs> which are just like chips in general. Yeah. Like or like I guess, like, I don't know. I'm, I'm like, 90% sure that, like, most chips are, like, under the same company, you know? Like, they say they're mm -hmm. not, but they are, you know? Oh, yeah, like, like Frito-Lay is, like, everything. Yeah. I don't know what Frito- like, what chips aren't Frito-Lay. Same. So this dude is just, like, a giant Frito-Lay. I also gave him, like, a crop top, because that was, like, a thing in the 80s, and I love it, so... Mm. He's got yeah, a crop top. He got a little crop top on. He's a little slutty. <laughs> I can't wait to see him when you're done. <laughs> he's just like he's a, a he's a little slutty. He's he's like just like a little a little slut for chips, you know? Are we? Are we, are we all slut for chips, bro? Hey, fair, fair, true. I'm gonna give him a little happy trail. Why not? I'm just feeling it. I'm feeling it today. He is happy. He's happy. Why wouldn't he have a happy trail? <laughs> he's so happy that he's eating chips <laughs> and 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 wrestling and and wrestling bro he's just happy to be here <laughs> you know this is this this dude this actually isn't turning out like too bad and that guy kind of bothers me i'm like why is this like better than like some of my regular drawings <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah no i'm 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 feeling you honestly mm. like like what I'm putting down, I, I'm getting it, and I'm like, why am I getting it? <laughs> why am I getting it so good? Like this is kind of good, and I'm kind of mad about it. Like I'm kind of like, <laughs> why are you? Why is this good? This is this is this is maddening. Don't, don't make it too good, or you you are gonna get ridiculed by your fans. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna get ridiculed either way. Like why did you do that? <laughs> why, why did you, you want? That? They told me to. <laughs> <laughs> they told me to, you motherfucker. Like this, this is ironically, this is unironically like kind of fire, and I'm kind of mad. Like I feel like WWE should hire me, hire me for your character design, bro. I'm, I'll do it. <laughs> Even though he kind of looks, more, he, he looks more less like a wrestler and more like, like mm -hmm. a spokesperson <laughs> for, it. <laughs> for it. Like I can't describe it, but he's like not bad. Like he's pretty good. I respect yeah. it. I respect the grind. We respect the drip. <laughs> oh, I need to get. I need to get this dude's skin tone right. I need to get Chips Gonzalez's. I need to, like take his skin tone real quick. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. He 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 will beat. Um, what's his face? He will beat Hulk Hogan. <laughs> he, you know, Hulk Hogan Hulk might be a real Hogan. American, but Chip is a real Chip. Chip and Dale dancers. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, Chip is just such a cool name. It, it it's so it, it's like no, it's like Chip Skylark from fucking Fairly Odd Parents. Yeah. You know, like mm -hmm. it's such a cool, carefree name. You know, if you're named Chip, then you don't like you don't have any worries. Yeah, you're, you're just Chip. Exactly. Yeah, bro, you're you're ch you're chipper, if you will. You know, like yeah, you're just vibing. It's like 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 how Japanese people always have like meanings to their names. Yeah. You, you will be chip and you will be chipper. Yeah. Hell yeah. God, I'm like kind of mad how well this is turning out. I'm gonna like <laughs> kill someone. I'm just like, God, I can't draw this good when I'm like drawing normally. What happened? You're not. What happened, Chip? You don't chip? feel as much under pressure, probably. True. What happened, Chip? <laughs> what did you do to me, Chip? <laughs> what did you do to me, Chip? God damn. 
Butch Hartman fan <laughs> of all the Nick IPs. Because I hate, I hate Butch Hartman, and I wanted somebody <laughs> to suffer. I hate him. I call him Bitch Fart Man. Like I hate him so much. <laughs> He's so stupid. He traces art for like his own commissions, which is just so mind-boggling to me. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. this dumbass traces art. <laughs> he traces art of like another artist, and or like. And has the gall to charge it for two hundred bucks? Oh my god, it's infuriating. But I, th- I just wanted, I just wanted someone to suffer. I just wanted you to go like, I hate, I hate this dude. It's a good bonding moment for you yeah. and I. Yeah, yeah, I hate him. He's just so. The other time he he traced like Mikasa art, and then he's <laughs> like, no, I just used it as a reference actually, and I'm like, get out of here. Right. He's like, all artists use references. I'm like, oh my god, but they don't tr- literally trace <laughs> No, they do. <laughs> oh my god. But like, even if they do, bro, they don't post it. They just use it to learn. You're yeah. just making a quick buck. You don't even need the money. You're Bitch Hartman. Yeah. He started like a weird like Christian channel for like oh, families. We, we know all about OXs, oh, yeah. don't you worry. Yeah. I liked when he watched the death battle with Danny Phantom and Jake Long, and he was like, <laughs> "Oh, yeah, it was pretty good, but you know, I think Danny could have done this, 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 yeah. this." You know, of course you, you know, think, bro. Of course. <laughs> I hate that man. <laughs> I hate him so much. He did make Danny Phantom, though. He did make Danny Phantom, which a lot of people had like a dude. Okay, do you remember, um, like Nickelodeon back in the day? They had this like. It was like an MMO, sort of, for like, like Nickelodeon. It was like a Nickelodeon themed MMO, sort of. Like it wasn't like it wasn't like get a download anything though. It was it wasn't actually a game. It was just like a, like a like a weird, like mm-hmm. hub for people to talk in almost. Right. You know. Do you remember those? Um, Do you remember that? I remember Fusion Fall on Cartoon Network, but I don't yeah, remember it that. Wasn't, it wasn't Fusion Fall. It wasn't like an actual mm-hmm. game. It was just like, almost like online chat rooms but with like an avatar mm. involved or like a like a movable avatar and you could go to like certain um like certain worlds you go to like the danny phantom world or something or you could go to spongebob or something or whatever mm-hmm. right and i remember that people like there would be like a bunch of like like girl avatars huddled around like the danny phantom like npc and they keep they're like all trying to like vie for his attention even though he's literally an npc and can't <laughs> yeah. do anything that's awesome that's great. and and they would keep they would keep trying to like confess their love to him or something and say like i love you but like like the the system wouldn't let you say that shit because it's like a thing for kids you know right. um and and like you can't they use wouldn't that let word. you fuck Danny Phantom. They wouldn't. The they they would. This is literally 1984, guys. Yeah. They won't let me. They won't let you fuck Danny Phantom on the Nickelodeon kids like fan no. thing. Impossible. Um, Don't it, they know grown ups like this content too? <laughs> <laughs> it was so weird. Like I just remember like going there and people would be like huddled around him and they're like Danny over here. They're like Danny, I love you. Yeah. But they like trying to like like get away with like misspelling it so like it's still recognizable but like you know they don't yeah they can't get you for it mm. so weird <laughs> want to have sex yeah, with the... a ck oh yeah bro that's what they do shit like yeah. that and i'm like th- th- i remember like later in like the like the later years they had something similar <laughs> uh not like, exactly that but it was like similar thing like like nickelodeon world or something and i remember it was during it was when big rush was like oh, big, big time rush was like super popular mm. like, oh let's go and so like they had these like avatar shirts you could wear like i love james or like i love logan or shit like that mm. and i got i got all of them because i couldn't choose a favorite because they're all like homies you know like they're all great i liked kendall but you i like, respect you, them all of them you like kendall yeah tell me why tell, tell me why i just want to know eyes are dreamy <laughs> <laughs> Really? That, that, I, that's... He, I thought he was the funniest one. He's he was like the most like 
grounded feeling. Well, because he was he was like the sh- like the straight laced guy. Like he's like the exactly. straight man. Because he's like the the guy who's like everyone else had some sort of weird personality quirk to them, and yeah. he was just he was just a dude from Minnesota. Yeah, <laughs> like, no, that's that's not true. Gus- Gustavo is my favorite. Yeah. Actually. Uh, okay, Gustavo is oh. is goaded, bro. <laughs> like I remember. Because everyone liked James because he was the pretty boy, but I, I thought he was just, like, average, honestly. I was like, yeah, he's just yeah. a dude. Like, yeah, no, Ke- Kendall looked better than him. <laughs> you think Kendall was better looking than James? Yes. <laughs> Have you seen his eyes? <laughs> yeah, you told me. You made it clear. We watched yeah. the Big Time Rush Christmas special, like, every year. Oh, dude, yeah, yeah. I love that. With Snoop Dogg. Yes! <laughs> I love it. I am- Miranda I love Cosgrove. It. It's so, so fucking good. So beautiful. Yeah, I don't Speaking I of Miranda it. Cosgrove, why the fuck was there an iCarly Pawn Stars crossover? I don't mean to change the subject too much, but okay, we, no, we I need understand to talk about that. that. Like then they had Chum Lee, and it was so funny because like <laughs> I found out like later like Chum Lee was like kind of weird because he, <laughs> so he had like a, it's so weird. He had like this weird like speak easy level thing. Where he had mm-hmm. this like room, he he ran like a candy shop or something, yeah. and in the mm-hmm. top of the candy shop or something, he had a room called the Chum Chum Room, where he <laughs> where he would invite like strippers and Hell shit, yeah. and like let's do go dr- Chumley, like, oh. <laughs> and he would do like he would do like hard drugs as well, yeah, which is yeah. so funny to me. Like imagine like hey baby, why don't we come up to the Chum Chum Room? <laughs> let's go Chumley. Yeah. Like what the fuck? It's so funny to me, holy shit, but... He goes, bow down, bow down, <laughs> bow down, Wait. bow down. Have you guys seen the, um... Oh, fuck, it's like the, the it's called, it's like a YouTube poop of, of uh... Uh, what was it? Pawn Stars? Yes, Pawn and Stars too. Yes, I, I love it. Absolutely. I, I made Nyara look it up on her YouTube stream I, the other day. I love, I, I love, I love that YouTube poop. Mm-hmm. I've been coming back to it for years <laughs> since it came out. We it's did like so we did like an entire Pawn Stars fan fiction jam for our podcast because oh we thought God. that one was so funny. Mm-hmm. I love it. I love that's like one my, that's like hands down my favorite YouTube poop of all time. Mm-hmm. I love it so much. It's, it's just, so funny. It's all like it's all like clean humor too. Like yeah. as, as like baffling and wacky as it is, it's all like just nice clean humor. Bro, this is my this is my son Big Sauce, you know? Like <laughs> I we still quote it. We still quote it. Me like I still quote to this day. I go like uh dances with saddles and dances with fools. <laughs> The, my favorite part of Western culture is the vulture. Like, my fa- I love the Western <laughs> Illilia is the vulture. I love, I fucking, like, I quote it all the time. It's so funny. I'll trade this to get a tat one. <laughs> Maybe now I'll go get a tat two. Yeah. <laughs> and if we're working out later, I can come up, I'll come back home with a tat three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, that's not my tattoo set. That's not my tattoo set. Or, like, when, I, when I'm fucking talking about, like, drawing on my eye, I got liners, uh, shaders, uh, different colors of, uh, shaders. <laughs> Like, just absolutely stupid shit. I love it so much. Absolutely. It's so good. I don't like fucking talk. Yeah. <laughs> when I saw that chest, I started drooling. <laughs> yeah. Just zooms in on the uh, big hoss's chest. <laughs> yeah. It's so good. It's so funny. I love it. It's so, so funny. It really is. It's funny because this guy's supposed to be a face too. Like this guy's supposed to be like. <laughs> he, oh yeah, he's supposed to I be. I just a remembered cool. that. I'm like, isn't this guy supposed to be like a face or something? But I, you know, I could see him being a face. Yeah, he's lucky. He's, he lives for the common man who loves his yeah, chaps. Yeah, he also he does look kind of homeless. I'll be real. <laughs> I'll be real. <laughs> <laughs> Name him after every single Butch Hartman show. <laughs> every single one. Oh my word. Name him, name him Nick L. Odeon. There Nick you go. Nick L. Odeon. That's good. But E.L. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Nick L. Odeon. Um, Nick the Lodeon. <laughs> Nick the Lodeon. Nick L. Odeon. He loaded, bro. Absolutely goaded and loaded. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. Hell yeah. You already know what the fuck is going on. You already know what it is. <laughs> yeah, I forgot I made Steven use a bunch of different colors. I'm sure he's having fun with that. <laughs> Pain and suffering in it. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's having fun. He, he's, he's loving it, bro. <laughs> he's loving it. 
He's going to McDonald's right after this. Oh yeah, bro. <laughs> I love McDonald's. Let's go. It's unhealthy as fuck, but I love it. I had McDonald's today, actually. It was good. Nice. Nice. You remember to eat today. Yeah, bro. You already know. Well, only <laughs> one meal a day. Dude, I forgot. Here's the thing. So every every time I have German class, I have I have to drink Baja Blast beforehand to, like, do good in German for some reason. It's Hell a yeah. weird, It's a really weird coincidence, but any time I drink Baja Blast, I, like blast my way through german i'm just like i'm just like top student i'm like doing my best <laughs> it's great there but when i That's don't awesome. drink mountain when i don't drink mountain dew i suck absolute ass and my teacher laughs at me so mm -hmm. <laughs> i have to drink mountain dew to survive bro oh, yeah you saw the, like the hard mountain dew right yeah yeah and i also saw the baby food mountain dew that people sent like twice for some <laughs> reason in in mm -hmm. meme but it's mm -hmm. all right you know we'd be like that i think my dude's done i think he's he's ready mm -hmm. to go uh, yeah, me too, Mo. Uh, you can, you should, uh, you can go first, Yoro. You can share your guy. All right, hold on. Let me copy so, paste all the layers so I can make sure he's good. So this. So yes, and to recap, it was a. Uh, fuck, I already forgot. Yeah, it so a, it was. A chi it was like <laughs> chip. He, yeah, chip. He, a man who loves chips. And, yep. Uh, and he's also ba he's also similar to. That guy. Giant Gonzalez. He has to show some like some resemblance or like relationship to uh, Giant Gonzalez. So mm. this is Chip Gonzalez. Oh, yeah. um, Holy fuck! <laughs> and <That rocks. laughs> yeah, so I took his like shoulder pads. And I just gave him like a bunch of like random mm. chip accessories. He has like a <laughs> a crop tank top. That's yeah. like made of a chip bag. I'm sh like I my 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 storyline was that he's like a Sasquatch or something, who mm -hmm. like went to like a random ass fucking campsite or like chip factory. I don't know either one of those, and he just stole all the chips, and now he's just he's just surfing and he's he's a hero, you know? He's because mm -hmm. he's supposed to be a face, but he looks like a heel. Like I don't know. <laughs> No, that's fine. I think he looks great. Mm. great. I love the sure. muscle definition on his vagina bones. Yeah, you already know. He has a little happy trail too, but I didn't define it because I'm stupid. But he has a happy trail and I felt like it. He's just happy to be mm. chips, you know? He's living his best life. Absolutely. He is. Alright, so yeah, I had, um, loves the barnyard and loves Butch Hartman. Yeah, let's see it, let's see it, let's see it. So here's, uh, Nick Elodian. Oh yeah, let's go. Yo. There we go. <laughs> He's so oh. goddamn cool. He's so cool. Look at him. <laughs> oh, yeah. He got the green and the gray. Look at him in the barnyard. Yeah. Yo. With the, <laughs> yeah, with with the, the, with the tatted the sleeve. sleeve. Oh, my God. That's yeah, beautiful. I was going to do a Danny Phantom sleeve on the other arm, but I ran out of steam. Mm. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's beautiful. Yeah. He's so cool. He is. All right, Steven. All right, let me hit let us. Me you had at least six different colors and uh, Zoolander. Zoolander. Just give me one sec writing his name and here we go. Yeah, what is his name? You'll huh? see, you'll see. Uh -huh. Oh, Lord. All right, this is the face of my off-brand wrestling company. His name is The Skiddler. Yo! <laughs> that's so good. What the fuck? That's this amazing. Is, the, the mask, the big S cane. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the that's, Skiddler. That's, and he has, he has the, like, the, like the face. He's giving face. I love that. <laughs> it's so oh, amazing. Yeah. That's awesome. Not bad, not bad. This is... This is great. <laughs> it's wonderful. Oh my god. This is a fantastic episode. I agree, I agree. <laughs> it's beautiful. This character design at its peak. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so uh, I guess we can just go ahead and jump straight into uh, doing our heels now. Okay. Same, same <clears throat> thing. Just, uh, give, our, give each other some ideas to roll with. Uh... So, Steven. Yippers. Your heel. Oh boy. Uh oh. Is a gas station uh, manager. <laughs> 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 
Wow. Already? Uh, yeah, hit him, hit him, Yoro, hit him with something good. Oh god, this is tough, this is tough. Um, yeah, how are you gonna compete with gas station manager? <laughs> oh, I got it. Um, he's also a sexy cat maid. Oh shit. Fuck. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> you're, you're wee bash. Your wee bash manager at the gas station. Beautiful. <laughs> Alright, uh, Yoro Yo Yo. Oh god. <laughs> um, your wrestler, your heel, mm -hmm. they, um, I'm waiting. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, half of their face is robotic. Oh, okay. It's like Android kind of. You can split that any which way you'd like. Okay. Let's see here. God, I had I had a number of fun ideas pop into my head at once, but uh, let's see here. All right. So. Let's so Parvin's robotic, he's gotta be a heel. Okay. Yep. He's all s But as we learned from the last round, the traits don't really matter. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. He's also a uh, toy store owner. A toy store owner? Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> An evil toy store owner? Yeah. He's just That's capitalist. Fucked. That's what he is. <laughs> <laughs> It's Al's toy barn with a mecha jar. <laughs> yes, that's what he is. Come on, I need to get like a, this is gonna be interesting because. Right. Hold on, yo, yo yo, you gotta hit me first. Oh, I gotta yeah. hit you. Okay. Um. Yeah, make me bleed. <laughs> make you bleed. Um, he's like a super like hyper bootleg of Johnny Silverhand from Cyberpunk 2077, but like like <laughs> hyper bootleg, like you like mm. that's stressed. In, in incredibly bootleg. Okay. And he all I can get down with that. <laughs> and he also pushes a big old cage with an orangutan to the ring in his entrance. <laughs> <laughs> that's <Okay>. so weird. <laughs> yeah, that's his silver hand. <laughs> Alright, I can work with that. Oh let man, it's gonna write be good. That down. The Johnny Silverhand fake. It has to be like incredibly blue. Like, like it's like an mm. off, 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 off brand <laughs> Keanu Reeves is what I'm going for. <laughs> and then pushes orangutan cage. <laughs> what the fuck do toy shop owners look like, bro? I've never <laughs> seen one. I've only house seen like. Toy barn. <laughs> Here. The only answer is Al's toy boy. <laughs> or um, uh, like this dude. Loop from uh, Spy Kids. Oh, oh, is that is that Steve Buscemi's character? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> That's uh, who is Steven? Who is this? That's a toy this? store owner. What I imagine he looks like. <laughs> <laughs> no, you just you were just looking at gas station people. <laughs> you made some real characters. You can't fool they me. They go to the gas station. They do not. <laughs> I'm kind of going for like toy story, toy story, <laughs> toy <laughs> story. <laughs> Shut up, toy store <laughs> owner, like mad scientist kind of thing. You know, like yeah. okay. this. Come on, come on, Herbert West. Come on, Herbert. See, Herbert. For mine, uh, do you mean? When you say sexy cat maid, do you mean like furry or Nico? Uh, like Neko. Oh, okay. Like. I got you. I got you. Uh oh. What happened? I'm like, how am I gonna, how am I gonna make this work with eyes? Eyes always, they're either like really good for me or they're really bad. There's like never mm -hmm. any in between. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, I feel that. It's so easy to just like 
I don't know. They just like mess up. Yeah, like I'm trying to go for a crazy look, but you don't want to give them like two small pupils or two big pupils because if it's too big, you look like cartoony and like anime. But if you don't, if you give them two small ones, he looks too crazy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm just trying to trying to live out here. It's tough. Very very interesting prompt. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Basically, if someone doesn't drop robotics that much, I'm like, damn, bro. This is gonna be crazy. Robotnik? Robot- Dr. Robotnik? Shit, like wish. the Jim Carrey one? <laughs> <laughs> Do not get Steven started on Robotnik. He's the biggest Robotnik fan of all. It's true, it's true. Have you seen the the Sonic real-time dub with, I think it was Snapcube? Or no, it wasn't oh, Snapcube, was it? Wars. What's her name? Yeah, Sugarcube? That's Snapcube. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Of course. I fucking love it. It's so funny. Mm. <laughs> one of my favorites. Absolutely. Oh yeah, like the Sonic 06 one is just like a damn movie. Oh my god, it is. And also the um what was it? They they had the one with the Sonic and the seven rings or whatever, like that one. That was so mm-hmm. funny cuz <laughs> Dr. Robotnik's like whole like thing that time was like I need my Fortnite gamer girl, and I love that <laughs> so much. <laughs> yeah, no, I I love those guys. Their their improv skills are second to none. Dude, they're so insane! Absolutely. Like, it's incredible. This dude isn't even. Gonna, the thing is, I don't know. Like, this dude's probably not gonna look like a wrestler. He's just gonna look like a <laughs> mad scientist toy store employee. That's fine. Yeah, it's alright. I mean, cause like, normally it's with like, you know what, I'm gonna have him be like, the top up is like, real toy store guy, and the bottom down is like, speedo shorts or something, like, that's what I want <laughs> with this guy. There we go. Whatever works. Yeah. Fuck, bootlegs got me fucked up. Bro, you just gotta, have you seen that image of like, the bootleg Keanu Reeves? That's what I imagined it to like, be like, like... Let me look up bootleg Keanu Reeves. <laughs> it's like a symbol for a toy or something. Like he has like a little, little belt here or something. I don't know. Uh, I see Adam Driver. <laughs> That's close enough, honestly. <laughs> That's just the Adam Driver is the bootleg Keanu Reeves. <laughs> Poor guy. I'm gonna give this dude a fucking big boss, like, hand. Hell yeah. That's cool. Hell yeah. The ladies are into that. The ladies are gonna love that. <laughs> the ladies love the hand. <laughs> the ladies love the big boss hand. <laughs> People tried to, like, have that hand fish them, by the way. It was actually pretty crazy. Really? IRL? Yeah. Because they had, like, a limited edition, like, big boss, like, hand, and people were, like... Did you like, get it? No, because I was, like, <laughs> poor. Well, I'm still poor, but, like, I was, like, like a kid. So, like, or not a kid, but I was, like, too poor Excuses. to afford anything. <laughs> but, oh, dude, I would have if I was, like, a little older or had started doing VTubing, like, a little <laughs> earlier. Well, much <laughs> earlier, like, because it came out in, like, what? When did, when did fucking, um, Metal Gear Solid Five come out? It was, like... Uh, Phantom Pain? Yeah, Phantom Pain. Um, like 2014, 2015? Yeah, so that was like a long while ago. Damn. Mm hmm. Crazy, huh? Yeah, because, like, I remember I got it, like, some time after it was uh, released, like, a long time after, I'd say. Mm hmm. Um, and well, I'm gonna name this guy Jeff. Hold on. My name Jeff. My name Jeff. Jeff. <laughs> Everybody does their my name Jeff. <laughs> you know this this guy ain't that half bad. He ain't half bad. Mm-hmm. I'll give him that. I'm I'm I'm, do, I'm not it's not I'm not too freaked out over this dude. Not too not too bad. What did your characters do when they turned heel? What was like their their big drama point? Oh, their big drama point. Oh, that's a good question. Um, he. I'd say, can I say, like, this dude is, like, healed by means of insanity. Like, he's just so insane that he's just, like, he, he kind of sure. can't be a face, you know? Like, sure. He's, he's like, Bray Wyatt. Yeah, <laughs> he's just, like, so 
chaotic because he's like a mad scientist and half mm -hmm. of his face is like robotic right and he's mm -hmm. like obsessed with toys and he's just kind of insane like you can't really I, he wants to turn everybody into toys i feel like he wants to like make everybody toys mm -hmm. or something i don't know like the toy maker yeah bro there we go No, that's not what the, in the toy maker. No. <laughs> I don't even know who the toy maker is. So I'm just like it's from Spy Kids three. Oh, Spy Kids! That's what it, that's what his name was. I just called him Steve Buscemi like all the time. No, that was um. Uh, oh wait, no, it was Sylvester's Steve character. Yeah. Steve Buscemi was a uh, two flip. He no, he was like the he was the dinosaur guy. Yeah, the right? little island dude. Yeah, yeah. He's like, do you think God stays in heaven because he's yeah. afraid of what he's created? Yeah, that like raw ash line right. in like yeah, a Spy that, Kids movie. In Spy Kids 2. <laughs> and then Sylvester Stallone in that movie was, that was in Spy Kids 3. Yeah, I, I, for some reason I thought I thought there was a Spy Kids 4, which was the game over thing. But that was Spy There Kids is a Spy 3, Kids apparently. 4. And also, yeah. what there was? Yeah. Like, like a decade yeah. later. Oh, okay. Well. That doesn't count then. It's not not my spy kids. TM. <laughs> but Junie's all grown yeah. up. Not my spy kids. <laughs> I know that it was just made for fun though. Like they just, they just kind of did it for for fun, which is cool. Oh, yeah. Have you ever seen a uh, Critical Mission? Mm. No. It's a, it's a CG cartoon of spy kids. Oh god. Yeah, it's a series. That doesn't sound fun. That does not sound fun at all. Nope. <laughs> so Bro, true. Why this dude built like balloon boy <laughs> from Fun Nights at Freddy's? He's got Five Nights at Freddy's in his uh, in his toy store. <laughs> <laughs> he has Five Nights at Freddy's merch. Hell yeah! Oh, that's a villain. <laughs> he's he's selling all that bootleg FNAF. <laughs> <laughs> that's what made him turn into a heel. Yeah. <laughs> No one would buy the real, buy all the toys that he worked hard on. So he just started bootlegging FNAF. Yeah, bro, it's sad. No one bought his game on Steam. <laughs> this dude kind of popping off though. This is good. I'm happy for you. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm definitely happy here because I was so worried when I started. I was like, this is not gonna be like this is not gonna be good. I'm not gonna be able to do this. And I did it. I'm like, oh, okay, I can do this actually. <laughs> I do have to be careful. I do have to be careful with his color palette though, because he can look like Super Mario at any given moment if I'm not careful. <laughs> <laughs> like, so I gotta be careful here. He can look like he can and he will look he like Super Mario. He can and he Mario. will look like Super Mario. It's it's scary almost. It's frightening my power. My power scares me sometimes, you know. Like <laughs> my power I have to make much people. Of it. What can I say? <laughs> My power to make people into Super Mario scares me immensely sometimes. I will turn you into a Mario 64 ROM hack if you're not <laughs> careful. So that's, buzz off. That that's his that's his power, bro. That's his that's his heal power. Yeah. And he can just turn anybody into a Super Mario 64 ROM hack. <laughs> that rocks. Totally. This dude looks like he's part of the imagination movers. I'm gonna keep it real with yeah. you. <laughs> I'm glad he's having fun. Dude, fucking have you got, do you guys remember the Imagination Movers? They're like the no. show on Disney Channel of like it's then like I didn't realize how like impactful this show was, but apparently it was like really popular because it gave people like father figures. Ah. Because it was literally just like it was literally just like four dudes who were just like bros, like they were just like all living together and they were just like, they were literally just like different archetypes of dad, thinking about it. <laughs> um, I do remember like the laid back trucker guy the most because he had a really weird laugh. Um, mm -hmm. But they were all just like different archetypes of dad and they would just give you like life lessons and how to be like creative and shit. It was actually really cool. Oh, yeah. But, That's cool. Yeah. Look it up, bro, it's lit. <laughs> they have to like take out details to make it look more bootleg. <laughs> <laughs> He's, he's Keanu Reeves if he was hit with the ugly he was hit with the Yas the Yasifier and that's what happened. <laughs> that's his heel backstory. <laughs> Keanu Reeves got hit with the Yasifier and then that's what happens. It's unfortunate mm -hmm. really, but 
that's life, you know, as Frank Sinatra said. <laughs> I love that song. It is a bopping song. <laughs> I think that was in Tony Hawk's Underground too. Really? What the fuck? Why would it be there? <laughs> oh. Yeah, they just, just like they just like went off and <laughs> dude, that's <laughs> fucking hilarious. Made the soundtrack, like... whatever. But it's cool. I love that game. You imagine you're like just like doing like sick grinds and Christ airs, and then like you just get like hit with existential mm -hmm. dread, right. like. <laughs> From Frank Can Sinatra. You? That's more than hilarious. <laughs> Can you, like, even stream Tony Hawk games with how much licensed music is in all I of them? I have no clue, but honestly, I'm one of those streamers who doesn't give a fuck about DMCA stuff. I'm like, go ahead. Mm. Just take it. Just mute it. It's whatever. I'm tired yeah. of these hoes. I love those games. I love the underground games. You get you get to make your own character and do stupid yeah. bullshit. <laughs> Steven, who's your favorite pro skater? Spider-Man. <laughs> And he is in Pro Skater 2. <laughs> that qualifies. Hell yeah. And then you got Steve with the mechanical bowl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in Underground 2 where everything was just whack. Mm. <laughs> I love that game. Hell yeah. Like every stage has like some bullshit character with horrible physics because they ride some stupid car thing. Mm. But that's what the fans demanded out of Tony Hawk. <laughs> it was pretty much just becoming like Jackass, which I'm all for. But I loved, I loved Jackass as a kid. That's so. Oh yeah. Yeah, as a kid, I would like my my parents would put it on at like nighttime to make me like go to bed. So I just like fall asleep to dudes just like maiming themselves. It's so fucking weird. <laughs> I remember me and my brother, we weren't we weren't allowed to swear when we were youngins, mm. so we would we would call it donkey. <laughs> like, hey, you, hey, donkey's coming on. You want to go watch it? <laughs> sure. Euro loves mukbangs. Hell yeah. I, I do. Of course you, you sure do. <laughs> Listen, yeah. I watch it when I'm eating because I I'm like a social eater if that makes sense. Yeah. Like I because I, I I can't eat like, I don't eat that much when I'm eating by myself. So I have to mm. watch people eat stuff so I'll eat more <laughs> and not underfeed mm. myself. It's very funny. But I hate ASMR mukbangs because I want to kill someone. I want to like skin someone alive. I hate chewing noises. Like, it, I'm like, I get like so disproportionately angry. It's so funny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anti-ASMR. I wish to beat yeah. up someone upon upon watching it. You hang out with Nika, with Nika Kato. Oh my god, I would, your taco I would bell. kill. I would kill, bro. <laughs> I would, I would literally like maim him. I don't, I like, I mean it. <laughs> oh my lord. God, but all the memes are so good. Yeah. The memes are so funny, but like his, he his... screams and disappears. Yes. <laughs> so when Doc Ock throws his car off a bridge. Papa's <laughs> chicken sandwich. God, I miss J Station. Same. <laughs> I miss. I wish J Station would come back and make more shit. Yeah. I miss Ahmed Mo. And it, you you know he didn't go anywhere, but <laughs> I understand what you mean. He's he's gone in a way. <laughs> I don't know where he went. He's no longer entertaining. No. <laughs> Let's see. All right, you guys want to go ahead? Yep, seven days ago, found working iPhone 13 Pro Max Apple Store dumpster God diet. Damn it. <laughs> okay, so quick, quick, uh, quick TED talk for you. Jay Station has this friend Ahmed Mo that used to p appear in his videos with him. He'd go, "You already know what it is," and he has his own side channel. And now that uh, uh, Jay Station is more or less dead to the internet. He's had to fend for himself, and he's found out he gets a lot of money or a lot of views making dumpster diving videos. So mm. for just like at, at least two years here, he's just been like going dumpster diving and doing the exact same video every single fucking time. Yeah. So yeah. many found iPhone 13 Pro. Okay, hold on. I gotta. So many. I just gotta take a screenshot shot of this. Yeah. It's horrible. <laughs> This horrible upload of regimen. Oh god. 
Like oh, found man. working iPhone 13. GameStop dumpster diving. Found working iPhone 13. Apple store Run. dumpster diving. Found working iPhone 11. <laughs> <laughs> found iPad. Like fuck off, dude. So You're fun. making nothing. <laughs> That's my Ahmed Mo rant for the day. <laughs> There's also that tour of Amon at the end there. <laughs> But that didn't get as many views. <laughs> so we went right back to the uh, found working iPhone in garbage. But like the newest one, the newest one has like by far the largest amount of views, even though it's like the same title as three other ones here. <laughs> that, YouTube that doesn't algorithm. make any sense. It's that YouTube algorithm. Ah! <laughs> okay, Yoda, you can hit us with your cool picture now, please. All right, hold on, let me do this real quick. And... It will fucking do it. There you go. There he is. Is Jeffrey the toy guy? Oh my god. Um, <laughs> he He's so worked strong. At Je <laughs> he worked at Jeff's Toys, and in an unfortunate toy incident, I don't fucking up an unfortunate <laughs> plushie incident. This dude just had half his face blown off, and now he just wants to make everybody into toys, bro. He sees how good the toy life is. <laughs> yeah, bro. He's seen it. And he has like a little <laughs> big boss ass, like, mm -hmm. arm or hand thing. Hand. Yeah. Made of like toy <laughs> pieces that he found and shit. Like, wow. He's got a box of cigarettes on his apron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's a sm yeah, he's a smoker in his spare time. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> it, go it feels real good on his robot half. Yeah, his robot lungs, bro. It feels epic. <laughs> Okay, uh... Let's see it, let's see it. Yeah, here's my, uh... Bootleg Johnny Silverhand with an orangutan in a cage. <laughs> oh, uh, whoa, yo! yo let's go! <laughs> I her, like... name, her name is Jill Silver. Ooh, yeah, I like that, I like Same. that. And you you better believe I couldn't be fucked to draw an actual orangutan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like I was hyper-realistic, so he's just like, bro, I don't even want to be here right now. Like... <laughs> He's just chilling. I love that. I love until, that. Until she uses her silver hand and then he goes ballistic. <laughs> Yo, it's crazy. I love that. That's wonderful. Truly. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Steven, hit us with your magnificent gas station manager, <laughs> Nako. Fun. Good. Let's Kawaii. see it. Let me see it. <laughs> this is uh, Catman John. Yo! Holy fuck. That's awesome. <laughs> Catman John. <laughs> I, lo I love that. I love that. His pen did. That's so good. So good. His pen did Holy weapon shit. that he carries to the ring. Oh, Literal I love that. Gas. <laughs> that's That's fucking awesome. I love that. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's incredible. You done it again, Blue Breed. <laughs> <Boy>. <laughs> Blue breed. Fucking awesome. I love that. Bring it in the fucking cat boys. Hell yeah, bro. What the fuck? That's awesome. That's what's up. Yeah, yeah, this was a whole lot of fun. I yeah. am very pleased with everybody's work. Sir. We have simultane we have instantly uh taken over the entirety of the uh World Wrestling Federation. Bro. Unironically, these are so good though. Like unironically, yeah. this would this would this would like slay absolute cock in like the fucking wrestling world. I don't care what anybody Absolutely. says. Yeah, no, I, I, I fucking love Nick Elodian. He's my new son. <laughs> Dude, Chip Gonzalez came out so good, and so did fucking Jeffrey the Toy Guy. I don't know why yeah. Jeffrey the Toy Guy popped off. He he, he came huh? for it. He he came okay. and he saw. <laughs> Like some, I I love doing this show because we just get it forces us ourselves to be creative and it some it always works out really yeah. well. Yeah, I love Cat that. Catman John. <laughs> love Catman Cat John versus the Skittler. <laughs> Battle of the Twinks. I love it. <laughs> okay. I think we can call it here. Thank you so much, Yoro, for coming on. Let yeah. everybody know where they can find you. You can find me on Twitter on at Yoro Yo Yo Virtual or on Twitch at Yoro Yo Yo. Ooh, ooh yeah, woo yeah. Twitch.tv slash ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. 